Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Sunday, March 10th, 2019. Got a free pick on the hardwood coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run. Real cool way to do that. You click on the link below the video and you get yourself set up for a free $60 account. You can use those free $60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, just click on the link below the video to get started, sign up for that free $60 account. Uh, before we get to the free pick for today, a little recap of yesterday. College basketball winning record-wise going 3-2, and two, uh, but that, lose, that loss with the uh, top play yesterday really stunk. We had Colorado State as the top play, and uh, although they were down throughout the course of the game, they came back a couple of minutes to go, took a lead over UNLV, and they were only laying two and a half to three points in that one, and really looked like the Rebels were shot at that point. But Chris Clyburn uh, just sticks the dagger in with a big three-pointer just after it looked like Colorado State was going to take over that game down the stretch. And unfortunately, we did not handicap a 32% three-point shooter in his career. Three years of college, Chris Clyburn uh, going six for six from the three-point line and scoring 20 points on the game. And that turned out to be the difference in the game, unfortunately. But uh, we end up Three and two in college baskets, but we lost that top play on Colorado State. Uh, we're on a 71% run in college baskets as we head into Sunday. And uh, we've got one play on Sunday, just one play. The big conference tournaments, of course, getting underway over the next couple of days. But uh, one daytime play in college basketball on Sunday as we look to extend that 71% winning college basketball run. It's available at DocSports.com on Sunday morning, and it is a daytime KO play uh, for us on Sunday's card. Again, over at DocSports.com. As far as the NBA, we've got one play going on Sunday. It is a Sunday night slam dunk. I've got one NHL play. It goes on Sunday evening. And uh, although we won yesterday in the AAF, the uh, Alliance of American Football, uh, we cashed again this time with Salt Lake plus the points. We're still undefeated in the AAF. Uh, we aren't going to be involved in either of Sunday's two games in football uh, in the AAF. We've decided to pass Sunday's games, and we'll be back in action in uh, that particular football league next weekend. In fact, we'll have both uh, fight plays in the UFC next Saturday and AAF action. Look to stay undefeated, by the way, in that Alliance of American Football. As far as the fight game is concerned, we're still 15-6. and six with our 21 fight picks since we jumped on board at DocSports.com, up over $4,100 for $100 per unit players. Uh, we did just go one and two last night, however, though. We didn't have any big plays in the fight game last night, but just one and two overall. So anyway, uh, we get back on track on Sunday. Uh, we look to extend, as I mentioned, the college basketball 71% run with the one play on Sunday afternoon, so be sure to go grab that. Also wanted to mention that the um, the rest of the basketball season, college basketball, is still available at that big discount, only 299 bucks over at DocSports.com. Our conference tournaments, big dance, the lesser tournaments during the, the big dance, right through the championship game in April, all for just $299. You can grab that right now over at DocSports.com. We'll look to go to 17-5. and five winning years with our big dance and tournament action. So don't miss out on that. Of course, baseball, uh, boy, we're just 10 days away or so from the start of the season. I uh, got those two games being played in Japan uh, coming up in less than two weeks. And then shortly after that, all the teams will be involved in the U.S. And uh, boy, that's going to be a blast. I can't wait till it gets started. We creamed uh, the books last, last season down the stretch. Final three months, 66% was our winning percentage in Major League Baseball final three months of the season. And we finished up over $7,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit over those final three months. So we can't, get, can't wait to get back involved in baseball. But again, the rest of the college basketball season through the championship game in April, $299. Major League Baseball season packages over at DocSports.com. And don't forget about those daily plays that I mentioned on Sunday. College basketball, the NHL, and the NBA all available Sunday morning. Again, college basketball run has been pretty decent, and uh, we would have picked up a profit over the last two days, but that big play yesterday uh, sure didn't feel good. When you go 3-2 and two and you lose the big play, it kind of feels like you just went 1-4, and four. Uh, but uh, you get over that and you have to move on, and that's exactly what we're doing on Sunday. All right, let's get to our free pick for Sunday. We're going to back the Chicago Bulls plus 8 over Detroit. Game time, it's an early one, 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific. Of course, the Bulls have been a better team since Otto Porter 
uh, was acquired by Chicago. They have lost two of the last three, or I shouldn't say two of the last three losses. They've lost three of four, but two of the last three uh, came against the Indiana Pacers and last time out against Detroit. They beat Philly in the middle of that, but that loss to Detroit uh, is, I guess it's a good thing when you're Chicago that you can have almost immediate revenge. I mean, they just played that game on Friday night. Uh, they're up 66 to 49 and a half was Chicago. Uh, they got outscored by 19 points in the fourth quarter. Detroit outscored the Bulls 43 to 24 over the final 12 minutes of the game to get the win, 112 to 104. But we expect that immediate revenge to land in Chicago's favor. And uh, we think they at the very least hang this number. So our play, uh, Zach Levine, by the way, probable for Chicago as we cut this video. So we're going to back to Chicago Bulls plus the four buckets, Chicago plus eight over Detroit, your free pick. Again, that's an early game, 12 noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Don't miss out on those premium picks again. College basketball KO, we look to extend the 71% winning run. NBA slam dunk, NHL. Oh, and NASCAR, by the way, NASCAR five to win picks on uh, Sunday. And uh, the way we spaced it out there, if one of those five wins, you're going to make money no matter who does come in. We've got a 20 to one shot in there, a 15 to one shot in there. Go grab the NASCAR picks. Little quick story about NASCAR. Uh, wasn't into it at all. Started handicapping it around 1997 as a youngster. And uh, we did quite well over the next four years. In fact, myself and a fellow better by the name of Sean Hess here in Southern Nevada. Uh, we'd get together every single uh, Sunday morning, race day morning, about four hours before uh, the drop of the flag. And what we would do is basically come together and on the race, the, the, the matchups and the to-win race picks that we had handicapped and we'd bring it all together see where we matched up and uh, then we'd make our picks all over Las Vegas and even had our money rejected a couple of times here in Las Vegas as we just cleaned up a NASCAR and we brought it to DocSports.com. This is the first race of the season that I'm offering two win uh, picks with this uh, race coming up in Phoenix on Sunday. That, that goes by the way at 3.40 p.m. Eastern, 12.40 p.m. Pacific so be sure to go grab that on Sunday over at DocSports.com. All right, that's going to do it for this report. Uh, we, If you like these videos, be sure to click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We'll be right back here Monday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific time. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.